Hi, Miss Dean here with Wilfard Opus 45, number seven. We only have like 53 more to go. And we'll be completely through the Opus 45. That's a big thing, I think. Okay, so um, we've almost got, we're over 10%. We've done over 10%. We've done, we have finished six out of 60. That's one tenth. That's 10%. We only have 90% to go. I like that. All right. That's heavy math. All right, we're on number seven. And number seven is a little tricky because it's on two different pages. And uh, it's in the key of, of B flat, which is not one of our, when we get into flat keys, they're not our favorites. But I've got several people, and you know who you are, in the middle of book um, two, who are, no, actually, yeah, middle of book two, who are playing, um, in the key of, of E flat or B flat major. So we have uh, those low those low fingers. So we're going to do this one. This one's going to have a low one on the D, the A, and the E. It's going to have a low four on the A and on the E. You can't use your open E string anymore. I'm so sorry. And you're going to have low twos all across all your string. Okay. So Let's kind of do this slowly. I've been working with uh, students uh, down to the bottom, uh, I guess the bottom of the uh, page six. And so page seven is actually an unknown territory to me. I played these when I was very, very young. So I'll be sight reading the second half of this. So let's get our measures numbered first, shall we? Okay, second line starts with measure six. Then we have measure 11 and then measure 16. On the next page, the first the set line at the top is 21, the next line is 26, the next line is 31, and the last line is 36. Uh, you'll, you'll appreciate it in orchestra when you have friends who've already numbered their measures and you can just copy down the numbers on the side. But you should be a good friend too and, and number your measures so that you can be a good friend to other people. It's become very popular in orchestra when you number your measures. All right, here we go. Not really too fast. Okay, this is pretty tough. Okay. About like um, about like this. Shall we play it that slow? I think we should. Okay, let me give you my open A, so you'll hear my we're in tune. E, D, and G. Okay, here we go. We're not going to go very fast on this. All right, we're going to start with a low one on the A. So ready? Here we go. Not too fast. And.
all right there are a couple of little tricky places there to me measure seven is a little tricky a little tricky because all of a sudden they're giving you high twos and low twos and low ones and normal ones ah okay measure seven you're gonna be playing three high two low one A good way to practice this one would be to play every note twice. Now, every single time you practice this etude, you're going to get better and better. Trust me on this. I've already seen a vast improvement. All my students are playing etudes and scales. Um, don't try to play the whole thing from the beginning to the end. Take sections. And if you will notice, did you hear a lot of things that were repeated in this music? I did. There's several times that he uses bum, ba, 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 He uses that several times. He plays that stuff over and over. So I would pick a certain, say, say pick the first two lines and just practice those two lines. If you come into your lesson with the first two lines of this spot on, man, that shows me that you've really worked. Don't try to do the whole thing. You know, take it little bits at a time. And if you get the two first two lines, then hey, try the next two lines, right? That's how you should do it. And make sure this is your music. I ran it all for you or you bought, bought the book. This is free music. This is it's not under copyright. So I can copy it. And you can mark this stuff up with any color pens you want to. Put little spaces and all sorts of stuff. Okay? Mark up your music. Um, but like I said, playing each note twice. Uh, each note twice it kind of helps you establish it in your ear all right all right see you on number eight